Well, disappointment. We had an opportunity. I, I liked what we were doing down this stretch. I thought we had a chance to score in that last drive, you know, and that, that kind of feel like it was taken away from us, you know, and I, I just, that, that's tough. That's a tough one to, 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 to handle. I mean, again, I want to give credit to what the Saints did and the way they played. I thought some of the things they did was outstanding. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, I just, I mean, you know, that quarterback was out of the pocket, thought there was a receiver in the vicinity, thought the ball passed the, 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 the uh, line of scrimmage. I mean, I don't know. It's just be nice to have the explanation. I didn't get the explanation. No, he actually got poked in the eye. They took him in, and they're just a precaution there, just to make sure. But when he was sitting on the ground, they were they were they were trying to wipe whatever you know when he got poked. So that's what that was. That's why he went down before he got to the sideline. Yes, but we wanted him to sit down to give Da a chance to warm up. I mean, he was injured. Instead of trying to bravely walk off, we wanted him to take a knee so we can get our guy a couple throws. So in your understanding, did that show concussion still on the ball? Was it was purely the eye? I don't know what they did in the tent when when I came out onto the field. They he had said he had got poked in the eye. That's what he said. Oh, yeah, I mean, it is very frustrating. I mean, again, it, we, we played against a, a very good football team that, that did some really good things, and they made plays when they needed to. Unfortunately, we didn't make a play. Um, we had a chance, you know, and that, that's all you could really ask is you have a chance. And I, I thought our guys rallied, very proud of the effort they gave, very proud of the way they stepped up and made things happen at the end of the game. But uh, we missed our chance, and that's that's a tough pill to swallow. Uh, Ted, in junior, the yard catch, uh, probably the Well, it did. It, it made it made a big difference. I mean, you know, they got up on us a little bit early, and, and they were able to do some of the things that they wanted to do. The disappointing thing is we were able to handle the rushing game, um, but we, we gave up too many plays over the top, and that was probably the biggest one, obviously, all day. And you know, Teddy still has that speed. Can you always talk about you can't kick field goals against this team? No, you can't. And, and if you go back and look at it, where we kicked four, I think it was. You're not going. You're not going to win football games if you do that, especially against really good football teams like this. Well, he's excited. You know, he's got a chance to make a play. He's got a chance to make sure they don't get the first down. And, you know, it's just one of those things. You, you wish he, he would have dropped it or batted it down, you know, and just knowing the situation and circumstances. Yeah, I would have loved I mean, because I heard some people saying, oh, he bobbled it going out of bounds or whatever it was. I mean, I would love to, and, and they never did. Um, you know, so that was, that was kind of tough. You know, and then. You know, that one, and like I said, just it would have been nice to, you know, get the explanation on the grounding call. Did uh, Mr. Richardson address the entire team when he went in the locker room? I don't know. I was, I was talking with, uh, with uh, some other people in my office. Well, what was the second part of the question? What was their explanation? For I, I didn't get one. No, I, no that's, uh, you know, I was trying to get one just so I could understand why it was called. Oh yeah, we thought Funch, Funch was going through the corner, and Cam was trying to throw the ball in that direction, and got hit as he was throwing it. So the ball is going to come out wobbly. But it, my understanding is it went past the the, the uh, line of scrimmage, and he was out of the pocket. Was it tough just to, to swallow this, knowing how strong you guys were all year, and just couldn't get the job done against this particular team? Yeah, this this you know you say we had a nemesis. This was this, they most certainly were our, our nemesis this year. They didn't. Again, I don't want to take away anything that they did. I thought Coach Payton and, and his coaches did a tremendous job. I thought their players came out and they played hard. And, uh, you know, they got the leg up on us. I know you haven't had a lot of time to think about it, but how in hell would you summarize this, this season? Well, I mean, this, this kind of epitomized the season. You know, close, close. I mean, we were close. Guys fought, did a lot of good things in spite of all the things that went on, all the good things, all the bad things. Our guys kept fighting and, and kept – being very resilient, you know. I mean, and, and it all started, you know, all the way through with OTAs, mini camps, training camp, right on through to the very end. So, I thought the guys fought. They should be proud of the the, the fact that we got here. I know a lot of people didn't give us a chance, um, but we're here, and that was probably the biggest thing. What did you do better against Breeze in the second half? Well, I, you know, some of the things that we did, I thought we got and, and we're a little more physical with the receivers. You know, we, we tried to take off, uh, t take away the, the the quicker throws, underneath throws. 
Um, but when he has time, he's going to find players downfield, and that's what he did. Unfortunately, he got a little bit too much time a couple times and was able to advance the ball downfield. And, and, and that's really what got us to was their chunk yardage was tremendous. They, they did a great job with that stuff. Oh yes, he, he got a good clean read. He was the number two, and there's, you know, there's, it's it's a play we call dagger. He runs right through the middle of the defense, trying to pull everybody out. And really, the deep dig is is the primary target. But um, you know, he had he had been able to get the safety over a little bit, and Teddy got inside the safety and, and split him in the corner. So you guys call it defensively? You call their play dagger. You call it your own. Yeah, we call their play dagger. Um, well, I'm, I'm very appreciative of it. I, I really am. You know what, 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 um, you know what the organization has done, um, I guess, showing a little um, continuity going forward. And I think that's uh, going to be important for us. You know, there is going to be some continuity. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen from this point, and, and we'll see. But, uh, you know, but, uh, but, uh, but I think it's a good sign uh, for us as an organization, as a football team, um, having that, that stability. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, most certainly. If there's any, the opportunity does arise, Joe, I, I think that would be outstanding. I mean, he's done a tremendous job, and we've got a very good rapport, I believe. Um, you know, I think he understands, you know, what, what we need. Um, I, I think he has a good feel for, for, for our personnel. Um, and, you know, there are going to be a lot of tough decisions ahead as, as we start getting ready uh, as we go into the future. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, you know, I, I know Steve's a hot commodity, and deservedly so. He's done a tremendous job wherever he's been. You know, starting in Chicago and San Diego, and now here with us. And you know, it'll be a tough one. Um, you know, him, him, and Sean are, you know, two really good people that, that were very special to this organization as, as we helped build this team. And I don't want to talk as if Steve's gone, but I got, you know, I got a hunch. You know, it, it might be his time. What was the message for the team after the game? Um, they did a hell of a job. They gave great effort. Uh, they should be proud of, 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 of where we got to uh, because nobody gave us a chance. Um, and that, uh, you know, and, and I personally felt, uh, you know, that, uh, that they, they epitomized, um, you know, what, what we're all about as a football team. And they showed some tremendous resilience. How much of the game was worthy in the fact that you guys were able to get that win? Um, I think there were some moments, um, you know, but I, th I thought Gunter came in and, and, and uh, the Darius, I thought he came in and did a nice job for us. He played physical and, and, and actually made a couple of nice plays. So, you know, I think we got some young guys that will get some more opportunities. Just don't forget those guys are all second-year players for the most part at corner for us. All right, cool. Thank you, guys.